afternoon everybody welcome to today's video i'm about to show y'all some really fun things that i got from walmart and dollar general that way if y'all want to go check them out before they are gone especially the dollar general stuff it sells fast and a lot of times when they sell through some of their stuff they don't get it back in or sell out of some of their stuff anyway today was supposed to be my grocery day i was all pumped up last night i was like i'm gonna get up we're gonna get school work done and then we are gonna head to aldi but i woke up to a terrible headache absolutely terrible it was like 5 15 this morning i started waking up and i could feel the headache i hate those things but i knew it was coming so i got up and took me something for it real quick because usually if i take something right away it's not as bad so i did that and laid back down for just a little bit thankfully it eased off but you know if you if you get migraines you know that like the whole day then you're kind of foggy and just not yourself so i decided to wait because it takes me like 45 minutes to get to aldi and I knew that that drive would just not be great for the head so I decided to wait but I did need trash bags and I went ahead and got some freezer bags in case I decide to do the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for the freezer today normally I would just get the trash bags from Dollar General but for supper tonight I want to make the we're gonna do the chick-fil-a chicken sandwiches again because I have a lot of that chicken left over still some hamburger buns left over and I wanted to get some of the Tyson grilled chicken strips because I'm gonna make me a strawberry grilled chicken salad and use that strawberry poppy seed dressing and see how that is. They're playing baseball out there, y'all. If you hear yelling in the background, there's a lot of excitement going on. <laughs> so anyway, that's why I went to Walmart so I could get the chicken. And while I was in there, I saw some good deals. They have a lot of clearance going on. So I got a few things. I also got some Easter stuff. I don't have all of it out here because I know the kids are gonna be coming in and out and they would see the stuff on the table. I know a lot of people do the Easter basket videos. I have in the past, probably three or four years ago, I did the Easter basket videos, but I don't think I have. I know I didn't last year, I don't think. I think I just probably showed it in a vlog or something, which I can totally do that again. If y'all want to see Easter basket ideas for teenage boys down to babies, let me know in the comments. I can totally do that. I have some stuff ordered for Jacob and Tyler. Anyway, I do some fun different things for the Easter basket. So if y'all want to see that, let me know. I can just add it into a vlog or something when everything gets here. But yeah, I did grab some more stuff today. I just don't have it out on the table so they won't see it. First, I'll show you the Walmart stuff. Uh, the chicken is the only grocery item. Well, I mean, unless you count trash bags and freezer bags as grocery. But anyway, that's the chicken I'm going to be using for my salad tonight. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the freezer. Okay, so then of course I got the trash bags and freezer bags. I saw these candles. Normally the Walmart candles smell pretty good. Uh, by the way, I can't remember if I updated y'all on the Dollar General one. Let me show you real quick. This one, the lemon and parsley one, it's a beautiful candle. Absolutely beautiful, but it is a silent smeller, y'all. <laughs> I call them silent smellers if they smell good when you smell them just like this, but when you burn them, there's no throw. That's how this one is. At first, I smelled it just a little bit, but... You totally can't smell it. Like if you walk in the room, you know how you can smell some candles immediately. Not this one. It's pretty though, really pretty. <laughs> Usually with Walmart candles though, they do have a good throw. I've never seen this kind before. So it's lemon leaves and mint is the scent. And it says highly fragranced candle, lemon, rhubarb, and sandalwood. It smells really good. They had uh, three other kinds, I think, but I picked this lemon one. So I'll let y'all know how it is. I got Frisbees. This one is manly. So anyway, I got uh, one of these for each of the younger kids, but I just put manly's out here so I could show y'all. That way if they came in, they wouldn't see theirs. This though, also. Also, I need to put it up real quick, but I wanted to show it to y'all. This is for Sissy's Easter basket. She loves like all the different cups like me. Y'all know I love cups. She does too, and I knew that she would love this one. So I got it, and it comes with a couple of peeps in there and a lemonade mix. So I got this for her basket. I'm gonna put it up real quick before she comes in here. All right, and then I just have some Easter sprinkles. These are really cute little bunny sprinkles and different little shapes in there, and they're a really pretty color. And then I got some peeps. I have a very fun video coming up with peeps as the star of the show. So I got some of the yellow chick peeps, yellow bunnies, pink bunnies, and blue bunnies. And then I did get these movies for Easter baskets, but I have decided I'm gonna go ahead and give these to the kids. So I got this one for Jonah. He loves this movie, Joseph King of Dreams. That's one of his all time favorite movies. I got that one for him. Manly of course loves Curious George. So I got him that one. And then I got this one for Sissy. Like I said, it was gonna go in their Easter baskets, but we have a trip coming up soon that's gonna take several hours to get there. And I knew that these would come in handy for that trip. So they're gonna go ahead and get their movies. 
So I have those out here, and these are only $5 each right now at Walmart, and they have lots of other Easter movies too. And then they had these shirts on clearance. They are long sleeve, but they were on clearance for $5. I got this one. It's like a peachy orange color, and then I got this one here with just the peachy color and white, the stripes. And I got me some of these shoes. I usually get a pair of these every single year. And I was looking for mine the other day to wear when it was a warm day. And I couldn't find them. Apparently, they were like wore slap out. And I threw them away last year or something. Because I do wear them out. <laughs> they're just the cheap little shoes. I think they're 10 How much are they? $10? Yeah, $9.98. So, I got another pair of those. And then these kitchen towels. This one says, meet me at the farmer's market. This one has lemons on it. And then this one is so cute. It says, you are very sweet. This uh, one right here, it's a thicker, you know, more sturdy like material. It was $2, I think. And I thought it would look really pretty like with the lemon one and that one together. So pretty. So that's what I got from Walmart. Over here is the Dollar General stuff. I got this scatter rug. My rug that was in the laundry room that matches the big one. Um, it got something spilled on it. What was it? Oh, yes, it was leftover spaghetti. <laughs> I had leftover spaghetti or spaghetti bake or something in that other refrigerator. And when Jacob was getting something out of there, he took out the leftover spaghetti stuff and dropped it and it spilled all over that rug. So I got this one to go over there where that one was. It was only $6. It's really pretty. It um, unfolds. So it's like that. I like the little tassels on the end of it. They had a couple of other designs in these scatter rugs too. And then I got this little sign that says rise and shine. It was a dollar. And this one says dirty on this side and clean on the other side. And this little fake plant, I got this to sit over in the windowsill in the kitchen. It says let's stay home or you can just turn it around and it can be blank on that side. These are the little condiment containers I was telling y'all about. I thought it came with around 20. It comes with 16. So it's the little cups and the lids. You can reuse them. I reuse them sometimes. You can probably get two or three uses out of them. They really come in handy for salsas, salad, dressings, and sauces. <laughs> okay, and then I got these two uh, squeeze bottles. I'm always needing a little squeeze bottle for something. I do have a really big one, but I thought these little ones, they're easier to store, and I thought they would just come in handy. So I got that. that. It was only a dollar two. This was from the little dollar aisle they have. And I'm also always needing a funnel for different things. So I got this little three pack of funnels. It was a dollar. This soap right here, Clementine and Honey. Honey, it smells so good. I don't know like how good the quality of, you know, sometimes you get hand soap that's runny and it's not really great. So I'll let y'all know how it is, but it smells really, really good. And then I got these two cups. Like I told y'all, I'm a cup lover. <laughs> if I have pretty cups, I will drink more water and iced coffee and things like that. But yeah, I'll drink more water. So <laughs> this one says peachy and it's this pretty peachy color. And then this one says live simply. And then they have country original written country up there original down there and these are glass on the bottom and then the tops are whoops watch me break it right before your eyes <laughs> the tops you know are just plastic but the glasses themselves are glass and i've been eyeballing this for quite a while the watermelon round beach towel i got that we can just lay it out on the porch or even on the ground have little picnics or whatever it's pretty big i think but I love the watermelon one. They have other pretty designs too. So that's all we got besides, like I said, the other stuff. I didn't want the kids to bounce in here and see it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put that stuff away, switch out some laundry. <laughs> same old, same old. And I need to sweep off the porches and all. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna do the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. It's still pretty early. I might have time to do those because supper's not gonna take long at all. It's just gonna be put the chicken in the oven, put it on the sandwiches. I think I have french fries left. If I don't have french fries though, we have lots of chips. I do have french fries. Did I not make any of those? Oh, I remember. I got two packs of these waffle fries. So we have a whole bag and another bag. So yes, we have the french fries. Chick-fil-A at home night again, plus a strawberry salad. What's that? It's a bull. Okay. What? There he is. It's a dinosaur, I think.
out. It's a little while later now. I've got some of the chicken and the fries in the oven. I'm going to do the grilled chicken in this pan here. I just put a little bit of olive oil in there. Jacob said he wants some of these grilled chicken strips too. All the other kids want the other chicken. So I'm doing some for me and Jake in here. I'm just letting it heat up real quick. Oh, and I can go ahead and give y'all a review on this soap right here. The one I just showed y'all from Dollar General. It is wonderful. It's thick. You know, a lot of times those cheap dollar soaps will be really watery and don't even wash your hands good, but that soap is really thick and it smells so good. Titus is having to work late again today, so he's just going to grab him something on his way home. That's all I'm going to be able to fit in there right now. I should have gotten out the big iron skillet. <laughs> it's okay. We'll do two rounds of it. I don't need that much for my salad, but Jacob will need probably the rest of what's in there. I decided to wait until another day to do the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Probably tomorrow, maybe even tonight. I may feel like doing it tonight. Since supper is going to be really easy and an easy cleanup, we're going to have a pretty busy weekend. That's why I'm wanting to get some in the freezer. That way I can just grab them out. They're already made, ready to go. So I have a few more days to get it done anyway. I just wanted to have them ready by this weekend. So I've got my stuff over here. I'm going to slice up some strawberries. I thought I had another cucumber in there, but I didn't. If I would have known that, I would have grabbed one at Walmart because cucumber is really good on a strawberry salad, but that's okay. I have some broccoli, some spinach, peppers, only one hot one. I'm only going to do one hot one, and then I have some of these sweet peppers. And when I do a strawberry salad, I like to do mozzarella cheese instead of cheddar, like yellow cheese. This is the dressing that I'm going to be trying. I got it from Aldi last week. I'm very excited to try it. Let's go ahead and see what it smells like. I can never, ever open these things, ever. Probably have to get Jake to come open it for me, Jake or Tyler. What? I can't get it open. I'll be back. He got it. Let's see. I don't know. I'm going to taste test this on just one little piece of chicken before I put it on my salad. I wonder if we need to shake it. Let's shake it. We'll do a little shaky shake. Strawberry pop. There's lots of vinegar, yes. Cider vinegar. I got that. I got that. Right like right whenever I got it yes I feel like I'm taking medicine like a little medicine cup I hope this is good I had high hopes let's see I have Italian is it the Olive Garden coffee cat that I have let me see I remember now I almost got the Olive Garden coffee cat but I saw this Laura Lynn restaurant style Italian so I do have that this is good I already know what this one's good here we go okay I don't love it but I don't hate it. it. It's a little bit too much of that cider vinegar taste. Do y'all remember those strawberry glazed pork chops we made back around Valentine's Day? I think it would be really good to add this for that glaze, like add this in with something for the glaze for that. That would be good, but I don't, I don't know. If you like really vinegary, I'm maybe making that word up, I don't know. Yeah, it's just a little bit too much vinegar taste for me, but like I said, if you like vinegar taste, you would probably really like it. I'm gonna try to figure out some kind of recipe we can make with it. It would probably be really good, like I said, to make a glaze or something for chicken or pork chops. I'm gonna be going with this one tonight, the Italian restaurant style. It's like a creamy Italian. I like to Strauss. Strauss, that's gonna be a new word. I like to slice my strawberries really thin when I put them on a salad, about like that. Was your supper good? We're finished eating. We're gonna get it cleaned up and then you wanna go outside or you wanna take a bath?